Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I just wanted to make a little video on uh, one of my Dell R210s uh, that's running my PFSense router. Uh, took a hit in a power outage and uh, we're going to have to replace that machine. Uh, so I'm going to record that. We'll go over what what, what we're going to do in the, uh, the home lab, home data center, that kind of thing uh, when we're replacing the server. Uh, I also want to just make this quick intro uh, just to let you know that uh, I'm going to come back to my channel, uh, start making videos again. I've got a, quite a few ideas. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually moving. Uh, so there's lots to do uh, with home automation, uh, lots to do with uh, home security, uh, home network. I'm going to do a complete rebuild of my uh, my network, um, new wireless stuff. Uh, we'll take a look at some new hardware and uh, do a probably a new 2020 home data center tour uh, and probably some build videos to go in there with that. Uh, so stay tuned, I guess. Um, I know it's been a while since my last upload uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching. So what we need to do is this server right here doesn't work. It's plugged in, doesn't turn on. That's the problem. So don't mind the mess. This is going to be moved very soon. I doubt you can see what's going on back here, but we're going to unplug the power and network from this box. And we got another one right here. We're going to replace this machine with. So, pull this guy out. We'll get our second one of the same. Try and carry them both at the same time. And we'll go up and work on this. Excuse my uh, very professional floor setup, but uh, I don't have room on my workbench right now. Uh, and I'm moving in a week or so, so uh, then I'll have a real actual workbench to work on. Um, problem with this is we had a power issue and uh, this server didn't come back up when the uh, when the UPS has died. So we're going to take the top off here. The only thing I need out of here really is the hard drive. So <clears throat> that's just under here. Just an SSD. I'm gonna plug both of these. That's all I need. This has got my router stuff on it. I've got backups as well, but we're just gonna take this and throw it in the other server. Slide that guy off to the side. Ugh, and open up number two. And we got some other stuff in here. So I borrowed this off of Buddy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hard drive out. RAID controller, I don't need either in here, pull that out, stick it in here, that'll be fine. So let's pull this RAID controller out of here for now, because we do not need it. Hopefully I don't need his tools, no, they're all good. Nice thing about these Dell servers is most of this stuff is toolless. Unless I'm incorrect. <clears throat> yeah, that should just slide out, so. Just like that. We'll put this in the other server when I get around to putting that back together. So we have this SATA cable, we'll use this SATA power, we'll plug in our drive here. This is out of an old in a circle device. Should be good there. I'm not sure if I have to mess around with the BIOS, I don't know how to, how to upgrade this. Not sure what version this is running. No idea what... Oh, this has more RAM than mine. Very cool. Everything looks good under there. Close that off. Close that off. That should all 
be all of what we need to do. Uh, I need a power cable for it. And then we'll hook up the monitor and we'll see if everything works and then we'll throw it back in the rack. So at this point, uh, everything was up and running. Uh, all we needed to do was set the uh, boot device, uh, set the mode to Uf UEFI, uh, and it booted right into PFSense. I'm just doing a voice over here because the server was really loud uh, without the uh, without the top on it. So uh, everything came up right, and uh, now it's got to go back in the rack. Okay, back to the garage. Let's turn the light on. This guy is going back in here, just like that. Hopefully I set the interfaces to the right ones, so that when I plug it back in, everything's good. And I'll switch over to the back again, where you can't see nothing. Plug everything in. Network's alive. Fire the thing back up, and then I'll switch my network back over to the router. So, fire this thing up. It works again. Now, what I need to do is take this cable, which is my PC network, and we'll plug her back in. To here because I had to bypass my whole network down here while my router was broken. So that should get me back in and we'll go upstairs and give her a go. Okay guys so uh, we've got the server back up. One thing I did have to do um, and I'll just switch over to this view here hopefully you can see it. Uh, what I did have to do is I had to switch over my so since we we changed uh, the adapters in the server. Uh, I had to go in and uh, add a local uh, a local IP to one of the interfaces uh, because the VLANs weren't working. Uh, so I added this 10, uh, 10 0 address. Uh, so now I'm back up to the uh, PFSense screen. So I, I also had to do a little bit uh, a little bit of other changes. So if you take a look at my switch over here, I switched uh, ports. Uh, 15 and 16 just to on the default VLAN uh, just since the the tagging wasn't working on the router so um, I just switched everything over to just the default VLAN so that um, uh, I was able to access it just on a flat network uh, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna log back in if I can remember my login hopefully it saved that changes okay so we're good there uh, that can go away um, oh boy so my interfaces are already gone. Uh, what else are we missing here? I might have to reload the backup for this. Okay, so one thing to note, if you change your interfaces around, um, looks like it's going to clear the, the VLAN setup. Uh, I'm going to take a quick backup of this. So if we go over to... Diagnostics, backup and restore. We will download a full backup. Keep that, and then just switch my screen back over to this one. Um, you have a backup from our area all, and we'll restore the configuration. We'll hit OK. It's going to kick us out of the uh, the web configurator because it's going to set up my VLANs. It's going to reboot the firewall, and I'm going to come back uh, with my network switched back over to what it should be, and hopefully we're all back up and running. This is why it's very important to always take regular backups. Um, this should actually be set up as a job. Uh, I just take it every, every time I change stuff, so um, that's also okay too, but... Uh, uh, there's stuff, some stuff you could forget, and then you end up forgetting the network settings that you had in there. Uh, so, you know, backups are always important. Always remember to do that. Uh, so we'll switch back over, um, and uh, we'll come back once we have uh, we have the uh, correct settings up. So now we're switched back over the network. Um, I switched back to my original IP address. Uh, we're back on the tagged VLAN 
uh, ports on the switch. Um, so now looks like we're back into our router on the regular stuff, and we'll log in. And we've got all our VLANs back. Cool. So just want to make sure that I have everything that I did before. Looks like I'm missing HA proxy. We'll have to set that up again. Not a big deal. We're missing some firewall ports. That's fine as well. Oh, I haven't made too many changes here. Now we've got our uh, our router back to the way it was. Uh, quick hardware, or quick and easy uh, hardware replacement. Uh, a little bit of fiddling around with the interfaces and whatnot. Uh, if you so, what I should have done actually is. Uh, put that network card back in the same slot and I probably wouldn't have had this issue. Um, it was just because I didn't put that network card back in, uh, the interface is reset and then, uh, yeah, that's basically how it went. So everything's back and working. Uh, I'm going to go back and fix up the stuff, the, the Delta since, uh, over the last month that I've changed, which isn't much. Um, but other than that, I think we're good to go. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if, uh, you have any questions comments are always uh, always welcome uh, don't forget to actually hit that bell icon uh, i'm gonna start uploading uh, probably one or two videos a month uh, as i get time it works still crazy but uh, i want to uh, do a few things like uh, I'm, I'm gonna set up a, a new a couple new um uh i don't want to call them shows but uh we're going to do a series on home data center stuff. So um, I've got that SAN I want to work on uh, with some cluster FS or something like that. Uh, set up some fiber channel stuff, which would be cool. Um, we'll do some home automation, uh, home security. I've got a brand new NVR setup that's going to be going in my new house. Uh, so we'll do all that. We'll be doing some cable runs, um, a refresh of the rack. I'll do a new, new rack tour. So hopefully that gets you excited. Um, hit that bell icon. That'll that'll keep you in the know. Uh, I'm not sure how the subscription feed works on YouTube anymore uh, with how dormant my channel's been. Uh, and also stay tuned to any home lab streams. I stream quite often. Uh, I actually just set up a new Instagram account, so go over there and follow that. The link's on my channel page. It is instagram.com slash homelab.sh. Uh, the homelab.sh website should be back up, and I'm going to start working on putting up some blogs and stuff like that as well. Uh, and I think that's about it. Follow me on Twitter. I don't tweet very much, but, uh, I might set up something. Uh, and don't forget about the discord channel. Um, we have a home lab discord channel. There's about 150 people in there, uh, that like to share their home lab setups, uh, ask questions, get some help. Uh, and I think we have a couple game servers. Uh, a few of the people on there like to play some games together. So, uh, join up on the home lab discord. And, uh, I think that'll be the first place to, uh, to know about new videos and that kind of thing. Uh, so thanks for watching, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.